In this video, I'm going to talk about why Grant Cardone does social media when he's already rich. Coming right up. Hi, this is John Lee. If this is the first time you come across me and you'd like to know how to grow on social media, how to create a brand on social media, then make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss out on all the new content. So one of the main reasons why Grant Cardone puts himself out on social media, even though he's already wealthy, and I, I've, I know Grant, I've, we've, we've interacted a few times, we've spoken to the same stages together, and you know, he's a really, really genuine guy, and, and also his, his wife Elena as well, and we're good friends. And you know, when we look at all these wealthy people, when, when, when we put ourselves on social media, the, the whole point of doing this is to become an expert in something, right? It's become an expert, so we wanna be known for something. Like the reason why I put myself on social media is because we want to be known for something like our message. Because we have a very powerful message to share. So we want to use the outlet to push out to social media. A lot of people say to me, John, why do you want to become a billion dollar company? Well, the reason is, is so we can impact a billion lives. It's not because I want to become a billionaire. Okay, that's cool. But what's even better than that, what's even cooler than that is empowering a billion people around the world with what's in our head that can make a big impact. Another reason why Grant puts himself on social media as well, you probably noticed that he runs some really big, amazing events. I mean, he ran one of the biggest events out in Miami. And I was, when, when Eleni showed me the picture, I was like, wow, that's insane. 20 or thousand people, which is crazy. But it's also a great way on social media to sell a lot of products and services. So, you know, Grant also has a lot of products and services and courses just like I do. And, you know, when we're pushing our content out there, it's really about how can we educate the market and what we have to offer and therefore giving maybe a taste of it. So social media is like a, like a taster, isn't it? We, we have like a taster of something and that taster of something allows other people to, I guess, try before you buy. So it's a really great way to be able to get your you know to sell a lot of your products and your services maybe your membership sites and our grant's got a, an amazing membership site as well so there's so many different things that you can think about when it comes to selling products and services especially putting yourself out on social media the third reason why grant cardone puts himself out on social media even though he's already wealthy is because you want to attract a target market so one of the things that grant does he does a lot of real estate investing and i think he's one of the biggest in this industry that does a lot of this real estate so he will attract a lot of investors so it's a great way to attract investors to become your business partners, to become your investors in your company. That's how I took myself and Vincent Wong took our company to a publicly listed company because we were able to put ourselves on social media. We had a lot of people that follow us and a lot of these people became investors. And so now, you know, I guess we're working for them. So the goal for us is to, is to keep adding value to the industry, adding value to the business and keep growing that business. And that's exactly what Grant Cardone does as well with the, you know, the real estate. So he's got like a, you know, billion, multi-billion dollar and portfolio that he's investing in a lot of his investors come in but we used a lot of social media to be able to do that because you know when people invest like people do research on you first so what they'll do is they'll go and watch a video so they can get an inkling of what you do and how you do it so it gives them the confidence it's almost like you want to tell people and show people and demonstrate your skills demonstrate your products and services and then you can see how things grow from there and that gives people the confidence to watch your content and buy your products and services another thing that Grant Cardone uses social media for is a great way to raise finance. So let's say for example, a lot of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world, they use something called OPM, it's what we call other people's money. And if you read a book called Rich Dad Porter, it talks about this whole concept of OPM. So Grant is a genius when it comes to marketing a product. So you've probably seen um, some interviews where we talk about marketing and selling, but he's also very good at selling as well. But the whole idea of this is to use social media to be able to attract the right audience in order to filter the people that we want to work with. So let's say, for example, there are billions of people who watch people on the internet, right? So there's gonna be a fraction of those people that really love what you wanna do or really want to learn what you do or really want you to do it for them. So we always have these three different products. So with Grant Cardone, one of the things that he does is it's great and it's probably one of the, the most unorthodox, what I call guerrilla marketing strategies to be able to push out content in such a way that will attract the audience and then you have what we call 
a, you probably heard of this thing called funnels. So a funnel is really how we qualify the people that you want to work with. So let's say for example, I do a lot of consulting with companies, with celebrities, with you know CEOs of companies. I want to qualify the audience I want to work with. So yeah, and you don't want to work with everybody. That's not a niche audience. You want to work with person like for me, I want to work with people who've already in business, been in business for five years. They're already turning over between half a million to a million. They're already spending money on marketing. So these are my three criteria if I'm working with people one to one. And another one is, is that industry something that I personally have a personal interest in? If it is, then I work with those people and then I'll do consulting. You know, with Grant Cardone, he's got a separate criteria. And it, one thing he did, was, which was really great, is to be able to uh, allow people to invest using different criteria as well. So that's one of the things that, that he's done to be able to do that. And I think it doesn't matter how wealthy you are, even, you know, Mark Zuckerberg's on social media, even Jeff Bezos is on social media, even Elon Musk is on social media and they all do this. And do you think they do it because they need the money? No, they do it because they need that brand awareness and exposure, even though how big they are, there are billions of people on the planet and that's why you must use social media. And that's why Grant Cardone still uses social media, even though he's already successful and wealthy because it produces all these things, which are the intangible opportunities that come in from social media. So if you got a lot of value from this, hit the like button. And also if you have any questions as well, leave a question below and let me know what social media strategies that you're using. Leave a comment below and I'll personally come in and answer some of these questions and interact with you in the community below. So if any of you, you know, you, you really want to see some of the new content I produce, hit the subscribe button, turn on bell notifications. And also I'll link some videos here and I'll link some videos here. And what I'll do is I'll put a subscribe button up here as well. Other than that, this is John Lee, the author of Business Hack. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.